Hi, it's Alex Newton from Kalytics with the Kindle Market Trends for November 2015. So let's have a look. Now the month obviously started with a big bang with Amazon announcing its opening of the real bookstore. We will certainly follow this coverage in more detail in a separate feature. One comment though is Jennifer Cast, the VP Amazon Books, said the new store stocks between 5,000 and 6,000 titles selected based on Amazon.com customer ratings, pre-order sales, popularity on Goodreads and our curators assessments. Well, I think the curators will have a lot of work to do because taking a look at our category report for November 2015, particularly the sales volume of the top 100 titles in all of the categories, well, you know, these Amazon bookstores would probably only be selling romance, mystery, thriller and suspense and uh, some science fiction and fantasy titles, but predominantly romance. And I'm not sure whether that would be a make a really good shop. So in any case, we will follow the developments and we'll keep you updated. For now, let's take a look at some of the highlights of the month in terms of sales development in some of the categories. Looking at fiction, we see the long-term trend in mystery and thrillers. It's clearly on an upward trend, the genre. It lost slightly here in October, but the longer-term trend is clearly intact with, uh, well, basically, girls being murdered, probably a safe bet when looking at the top 50 words of the top selling titles in the genre. We've been following Romans closely ever since the Fifty Shades of Grey movie and uh, we see that the whole thing cooled down a bit. It's leveling off and is basically stable at the level it was last year. Also interesting to note that teen and young adult, which is still one of the top genres on Kindle, has seen here, uh, well, let's call it a longer term, a slight erosion if you look at it from June 2014 all the time to October 2015. Probably time that there is a new Harry Potter type of thing. In non-fiction, it's worth noting this month that well, self-help does unfortunately not maintain its huge upswing. It's seen from June, July, August, September this year. Um, here in October, it dropped back down very much to the level where it was during summer. That's unfortunate because many of the non-fiction self-help authors, we even did a special report on it, you know, hoping that this trend would continue. Well, you know, let's see what happens next month. We will certainly keep you posted on that. Um, I certainly felt it's, it's, if you look at the pattern, it's pretty unusual that uh, a whole category drops off in one month to such a large degree. So that came as a surprise. For those of the Kindle nonfiction authors who are in cookbooks, well, we do see here this upswing from August, September, October here. And that's very much the same pattern we saw last year, where obviously leading up to the holidays, this genre is usually on the rise. However, the whole level of the genre is, is on a lower level than last year. Also, Kids Book, we've been following closely ever since the launch of the Amazon Kids Book Creator back in September, October 2014. Uh, you see, it continues to cool off a bit. It's, however, the ebook sales for children's books are on higher level than last year. And we're just about to launch a new special report, the volume two of our children's ebook report that will look at the specific markets by age group. Let's also not to forget at, to look at some price developments where some categories show a clear trend. For example, health, fitness and dieting here all the way up from November back in 2014 to here October 2015, a continuous rise in the price of the titles in the top 100. So back to quality in this genre. Also biographies and memoirs, and here an example in crafts, hobbies and homes showing some seasonality where if you go back one year, June, July, August, September, October 2014, um, where, you know, in fall, people push their crafts, hobbies and home book into the market, usually with many free promotions. So we usually see this slump here in October, November, uh, and then slowly the prices start picking up again. And we see a similar pattern here from summer, the prices coming down here uh, all the way to October. Let's see what happens in November, then prices should go back up again in this genre. You can have a look at the overall price situation in the Kalytics basic report, where you have a list of of all the 30 main genres and their current price points measured in the top 100 titles. 
So have a look at the report. It will give you all the data on sales, sales growth, which we call rank momentum, price, price development, degree of competition, and the number of pages in each of these genres. As always, there is no need to take notes. For those of you who are not yet at least a Kalytics basic member, you can download one free copy of this report at kalytics.com slash free report, kalytics.com free report. I look forward to talking to you next time. This is Alex Newton from Kalytics, ebook market intelligence for success.